Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to some more Let's Play Timberborn! We've got uh, two little districts on the go over here, and we're excited to do our very first uh, Roman-style aqueduct plans over in this area. Oh, I didn't realize I had a double-wide area over here. Let's uh, make sure to update our construction plans. I mean, it wouldn't have been a big deal one way or another, but let's make sure to get this right. Now... Oh no, that's right. We're going to use dams to make sure this never overflows. Beautiful. Excellent. So yeah, just developing a little over here so we can do some test construction with bridges once we get them unlocked. Because we don't know how they work! I mean, we can sort of do bridges with dams, but that's not what we need over there. Is it? I mean, it would work, but it would be kind of a little bit derpy, right? Um, actually, it wouldn't work because we're never going to throw enough water down this canal to overflow a dam later on. Um, and we can't build on top of floodgates, so yeah. We'll have to see. How much material do these use? God, they take a lot of logs. You know, I kept talking about expanding the farming area over here, but we might just need to expand our logging, like, more than anything else. Shoot, should I do that now? Probably. I think I may have over uh, underestimated how much wood I need. I mean, each one of these maples does eight logs, which is a lot. But we're going to need a crap ton more. So I think I'm going to build another Forester's Guild. Like, yeah, over here somewhere. Um, do I want to replace the blueberries? I mean, not really. Oh, I guess I can draw this over it doesn't seem to replace the blueberry bushes okay that's quite nice um we're obviously gonna need a forester's thing over there although we got a lumberjack flag here and this one here i think they do go to the low ground so technically this will be covered okay we're gonna get a lot of maple trees going on we could after like the first harvest cycle we could always tear this down after sort of nothing stopping us from doing that but Prime, at that point, will be responsible for basically all of our wood production. And that's no bad thing. Um, where did I put the Forester's Guild? Right here, huh? Let's make sure... Well, it's not a guild, just Forester's Station. Let's make it the top priority so it gets built before the rest of this stuff over here. Um, we still need this to get built. I mean, luckily, this is nearly done. But yeah, I guess I could uh, drop the priority. Although, apparently, at least some of them have got the logs delivered already. But we'll lower this, because I do want this area to be set up so that we can build the shredder? What do they call it? Yeah, the shredder here. 300 science, which we definitely have. There you go. Trees are being planted. Oh, did I put this the wrong goddamn way around? Oh, you son of a... We don't get the material back when I do that that way either, but tough. I don't care. I'm just salty. Erg. That's frustrating. Lake District, how you doing? I think you're doing fine. I really don't think there's much to do. Um, we might want to increase the water storage just in case there's a very large drought. Need some gears later on for those water tanks. Oh. Just gonna go ahead and double up on the water storage here. I think the one pump is gonna be plenty. Just to make sure they don't run out of anything. Okay. Um, Prime District. I wonder if they, these water markers are useful. Measures the depth of the water. I wonder if it's got, like, it'll have a visual indicator to really give us a good idea of what's going on. I don't know how important it is. Let's update the uh, Forester so it actually gets built before these areas. I'm going to keep the planting going, please. Oh, I think they can walk through trees. Walk through trees to get over here, because otherwise this is, area is going to get kind of blocked off a bit. But I'm betting it's fine. This game is too cute for words. Alright, there you go. You're there. Unemployment's fine. What's the employment situation over here? It's at a zero. Everything is filled, except there's there's actually one extra job in distribution post because it's currently set to four, but they've got three children. Yeah, this this Lake District is going to be perfectly balanced and consistent and good. Okay, that got built, so what we're going to do is we are going to plan for the Shredder. 
Where's your doorway? Let's make sure we don't block off access. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll keep it lined up. You should share power. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then what I'm going to plan on? A little thing like that. There we go. Might want a warehouse over here, too. Well, one thing to do might be to unlock the bigger warehouses. Okay, I like it. All the gears up here we're going to be able to see. I don't know how many metal scraps I'm going to deliver. Oh, no, we do have 82 metal scraps over here. It is set, I guess, to not move more than 100. But that's fine, because if, you know... We don't want to overload the stockpile over here if they're not being shredded. So, yeah, you can stop at 100 shred, um, scraps. That's going to be okay. Uh, da -da -da. I can press it into block. Wait, do you need gears? Wait. You do need gears. So what we actually need is the gear workshop first. Okay, that's fine. Which also needs power. Yes, it does. In fact, we're not going to have enough power over here. Well, it's going to be fine because the shredder can't get built until we got gears anyway. So we'll have power for now. So we're going to start this. Let me uh, bring up priority. Um, but before the gear workshops gets running, we will need more power afterwards. So I'm going to put another water wheel in here. I mean, I can... I don't know if I could be able to... I guess I can put down, like, a just a levee block in here. The dam. 20. Yeah, levee's cheaper. That's good. We can do that. I want... Hold on. Is there any chance that the gears can just float in the air? I'm assuming the answer is no. Yeah, no. So, I'm going to put down a levee block. I just fill this hole. So between dynamite and levy blocks, we can effectively terraform. Is what I'm feeling. Oh, yeah, and this... See, this is why, in the other times, I ended up just... Here, let's just get a four-way intersection in there so we have maximum flexibility. I put the corner piece. I'm like, oh, it saves some material, but no, 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 no. We'll do this. Hopefully this water flow is going to be correct for this. I mean, it does look like it'll come in a little crooked, but I think for the game purposes, this is going to be fine. I don't think these ever do, like, partial power. Yeah, I mean, we're outstripping demand dramatically, but not for very long. Priority set here, so we're going to start making gears. That's going to be good. Still 500 science. That's still coming in very nicely, which is great to see. I guess we could have a second lumberwing thing, because actually, maybe this isn't happening quickly enough. All right, I'll get a second lumberjack post to cover this, since we do have the unemployment. And, and and you know what? Like I could do this and then just put them on pause. Just cut down as quickly as possible. The quicker it's cut down, the quicker we can replant it. Yeah, that might actually maybe be the way to go. I know we're like competing with priorities, but this is the new need material. It just needs two seconds of labor. Get that up. Bring this down here over here. Do we not have enough planks? You do have enough planks. They just haven't been delivered yet, so that's going to be okay. We got the next droughts coming in three days, and certainly these things are just going to last longer and longer and longer here. These things are not full. Do we need to increase our water storage? Or maybe we need to up increase our water pumping. can get one. Oh, right, it has to be on ground. Yeah, let's do this. And that. Okay, well, I just need more. Well, I mean, these are full now. Maybe it's just because they weren't working, so some of the beavers combined taking a drink. I'll pause the construct. I'll leave this here, but I'll keep this construction paused. We'll just have it as an idea. Okay, the rest of that is set up. These are set up, so the chopping's gonna happen a little faster. We got tons of logs. That's not the problem. Uh, decent number of planks. Again, this is still consuming some of that, but that's gonna have to be okay. It's gonna be an experiment learning that area over there. Gear workshop just needs six more planks, which we do have. Now, we might still need a second lumber mill, but hopefully we can make do with the one. 
We might, when we build floodgates, because they definitely need planks, we might find ourselves, like, having to sit around and wait for planks and be annoyed. I could, I could probably just build another, uh, another lumber mill at that point, and then just pause it afterwards. Because too much plank production, and the choke point will just move to the logs, so it's not actually going to help that much. Okay, carrots. Oh, shit, our food amount has actually gone down a bunch. Well, we're just doing a harvest now, which is good. But I am starting to think that maybe we don't have enough going on here. Um, what I should probably do is plan on at least getting started on the potato stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Now, I think we do need the grill and stuff for the potato, um, which is this here. Does this actually give us two nutritions? Oh, no, it satisfies hunger and then nutrition too. But yeah, we'll start, we'll plant the potatoes, and then once we get a, pl a first potato harvest, we can do the grills. It'll make sure we've got extra food. I'm betting, actually, hold on. We're going to need a second farmhouse now. Because I think even this was maybe getting a little stressed, so hold on a sec. Um, we are going to delete those. Someone's going to come and trash those trees that were planted. Oh, my poor foresters are going to be annoyed by this. Deal with it. We only have two unemployed right now. I think we're going to need some more housing in our prime district. We probably don't want to do that until after the drought, though. Because it's just going to increase the amount of food that uh, we uh, we consume. I am a little bit worried about this water pump. But, I mean, hopefully our dams work a decent amount. Eventually this will dry out, but hopefully not too quickly. I mean, I could even consider moving water from the lake district to here. I don't know if they can carry water, but I'm betting they can. Okay, second farmhouse. Because I think we need the extra workers over here. They're not quite doubling the amount of fields they're working, but actually, this is a decent amount. Maybe maybe half as much. And I don't think they, they could necessarily labor through this first bit quite quickly enough anyway. We could change the priority of one to be on planting versus harvesting. You know, filling these gaps. I mean, we could split the task. Does it make a difference whether or not that's split? Because, I mean, we can't really... We can't plant until it's harvested anyway. So it sort of feels like... If we just put on plant, then we... I don't know. Tell you what, I don't think it makes a difference. We'll split the tasks. Oh, the unemployment must be at the other zone. Prime District doesn't have any more unemployed people. Okay. If that's weird. Why isn't it filling this up? Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, lots of wood. Some planks. You over here are... You consume planks to make gears. So I'm actually wondering if we need a second lumber mill now. Because we need some planks for turning into gears, but we also need some planks still for construction. And we can't set limits like, on this job. I can't say, like, listen, only make gears if we've got more than 20 planks sitting around. Okay, you don't have any power there, but that's that's normal during a drought. That's okay. 5.6... Yeah, these droughts are definitely getting longer and longer. Holy cow. And yeah, I think maybe we, we will need the extra pump here, because I don't think we're keeping up all our water supply. These are full. This one... I mean, it's further away, admittedly. But, you know, water should get delivered there. I think water gets delivered here after these are full. And some of the guys over here, some of the beavers over here, consume some of this water earlier on. So, it's actually not empty. The angle I was at, I thought it was empty. But, it has some water, so that's going to be okay. We'll definitely need the third pump. Especially if we're planning on increasing our population over here. Which I think we are. I think we're going to add in one extra triple lodge. And probably later on, ultimately get a... Um, get a fourth triple lodge over here as well. Yeah, you have no power, which... I guess that's the thing. Um, the, our, well, no, it's, our logs are never going to be a problem. I was going to say, our logs accumulate during the drought, but it's the plank situation that might be a little problematic um, outside of a drought. So, yeah, I mean, I think the idea will be to build a lumber mill over here. So I may as well plop it down now. It's obviously not going to produce anything. The only downside is, oh, it'll occupy, like, some of our workers. But what it can do is I could just pause these three buildings. There you go. Now that's built. 
needs power to generate. I mean, it does have power, it's just not enabled right now. Um, we'll pause these three, so free up these workers, because they literally can't do anything right now without water flow. Now, that's going to be one of the nice things. If we do go and get our, um, our wind power, which we're clearly going to want, you know, then we are not at the mercy of the flood to keep this power going. Right now, this is okay, because I don't think we need a consistent source of these things. But that's one of the things we can build up somewhere else later on. You know, just a bit inland. It doesn't say anything about the wind. I, yeah, I assume, because logically, uphill is better for our wind generators. But it looks like, I mean, this implies it just always generates 300 horsepower, period. So, let's assume that is correct. Oh, I forgot I had these little um, lumberjack flags over here, occupying some workers from a million years ago. We'd also do more farming here, too. Like, that's a lot of arable land that we haven't done anything with it. Well, what we might do is maybe over here we end up building another complete farm setup for wheat. And we can get a windmill to run the mill. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. So yeah, I'm splitting the job, planting and harvesting. I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason. It's like, maybe prioritizing planting all the time would be better. So you like, you pick a, a plant, immediately replant it. There's not as much food stored here as expected. How much is in the Lake District? 100, which is probably fine for them. Because they don't need to eat as much food. It's prime I'm a little bit concerned with, because that, that is pretty low. Um, on the bright side, though, we're halfway through the drought. We still have water over here. Not much, but we do still have some. You know, I'm curious. I'm going to go and get uh, this water depth marker. I know it's consuming some science, but I'm kind of curious as to what it looks like. So, it needs to be reachable. All right, I'll put it over here. It doesn't have a worker. I don't think it needs an actual path connection. Yeah, it doesn't have a path connection. But it needs to be reachable for the construction purposes. Need some planks. That's okay. There's, there's nothing else. Yeah, I'm curious as to what it looks like. You click on it and you get an actual number. You just use a visual indicator. We'll find out. All right, potatoes. Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. Mmm, potato stew with carrots. Actually delicious. We got like... A meal, basically, right there out of those two. And then when we get bread, then you can get a bread bowl for your stew. Or at least bread to dip in it. These are not... Oh, watered in live. How come you're not being chopped, then? Yeah, growth progress, but this is just done. I'm surprised these are not being chopped sooner. I mean, I didn't, for some reason, at some point, take away the chopping commands. No. I don't know. Yeah, when we get the extra houses, we'll build these this water pump and have it going. But I guess we'll wait until then. Two days left to the drought. Food and Prime District. Okay, yeah, I mean, we're still collecting some of these carrots. I think they're going to be fine. Even if they ran out of food, it'd be for less than a day at this point. And I don't think they're going to run out of food. And less than a day, they can, they can handle that. Our log pile is full. Well, that makes... Oh, that's probably why you're not chopping. Yep, that does make a lot of sense. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get a log pile way over here. Right here. Okay. That way for construction they can reach, but also there's just going to be more storage for it overall. Which is going to be handy. There we go, that's it. These places were full of wood. Yep, these lumberjack flags are completely full of wood. Which I guess the amount of wood these maples produce kind of makes sense that we would end up this like bottleneck at some point. It is still off. A little bit of unemployment. Okay, I guess what I can do, because we are going to need more workers, I think I'm going to start plopping down the house immediately. You can get up here, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to plan on having... second little access point over here. And yeah, this platform will go all the way around this block. 
We might want to plan for when we go, like, even taller. And get, you know, rooftop access. But I can always add staircases to some part of this loop, so that's going to be okay. Alright, everyone flew out there. I might go back to, like, 18 hours of work. Still seem to let them satisfy things. Maybe as we add, like, religion and things and give them more things that they want to spend time on during the day, maybe it'll become more important to minimize some of the work time. And yeah, if the populations go up, I'll unpause the water pump over here. And add... You know, maybe I'll wait until we get the large water tanks. I mean, it needs the gears to get started, but we'll see what happens then. I could limit what gets stored here. Because we really want planks to be stored in this area. Little carrots and things. That might be one of the other things with the farming. The choke point. Might be our storage. Oh, I guess these aren't full. Yeah, it's only at 60, so... I guess it's okay for now. We can double stack these as well. Would it be nice if the stairs were like half width? So we could put like a stair here to reach platform, but not block the path here. But I guess people can get around other ways if we did want to double stack. I wonder if the larger warehouses are like these larger houses where you need to access them from one level up. I don't know why they did it this way. Admittedly, it's it's kind of cool and stylish, but why isn't there not ground access to this? Maybe just to make it a little bit more expensive and costly. All right, drought is over. We never ran out of water anywhere for our fertility, which is great. The only thing we're waiting for is the water to come back in so that we do get some power flow. And yeah, in hindsight, but I, I wanted to test it, right? Like, ooh, how does this work? In hindsight, we do get water flow showing up in a usable form here, a little bit before we do get it here. Um, more than a little, not, you know, not just an hour or two in game, but you know, maybe a day in game before we get enough water flow here uh, to count. Um, so in hindsight, putting something there is good, but I wanted to test it and now we know. And yeah, the production of this lumber mill really doesn't matter much because this is a pretty static area. Like meaning material is this, well, lots of them are complaining about it. Is it a lack of planks? Maybe you can't reach. It says we got... Oh! The planks are probably all in Lake District. Instead of here. Yes! Wait. 10 and 10. How come you got 50? Maybe this is to reach it. How come... How come Lake District has 50 planks? Did I initially set a higher number? Maybe I had. Oh, that's annoying. Look here. I need trade route. So I have to move over. I can't just shortcut this way. Because it selected the district. I'll jump off there. Now if I click on this, I can check the limits. Yeah. Uh, send it to us until we've got 100. But yeah, don't take it away from the districts that have less than 10 planks. And maybe just send it to us until we've got 50. Still, this should start... Trade, there we go. So we're going to send uh, planks over to the Prime District. I mean, this place will be making planks. Oh, these are paused. I need to unpause these now that the water is flowing. Including the second lumber mill now. Okay. I was going to say, hold on. Our lumber mill should have power. But yeah, it's this one over here. Yeah, see, this isn't water flow anyway, right? There's water in here, but it's not actually flowing. Until it goes over here, it's not going to count as flow. Yeah. No, you know what? I don't think it matters. I mean, maybe it would be running right now. But now it's running here. You know what? I think it's about the same one way or another. You get a little bit weird of a stutter step as it, like, tries to build up the amount, but it actually does look like it's probably fine. Dun dun. You're not running because you don't have any beavers to work. You have no eager beavers. Uh, can we prioritize these wooden stairs, please? It's got all the material. We just need someone to come and work it. There's a lot of hauling of logs. I'm wondering if I should get a second... Um, so if I look at... Where's that labor menu? Is it this one? Builder's hut. And also get a hauling post. Yeah, because we might need a little bit more something-something. 
of either one of these. Although both of them take a bunch of materials, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, maybe I won't do it right now just because of the material. Okay, those stairs got built. That's great. We have extra housing capacity. So we will get a little bit more bebe making. And you have no workers, but just sit tight. We have, oh, we have no children. Yeah, so the birth rate really came to a halt. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to get the other one set up over here. Uh, so we need a platform. And yeah, I'll probably just go ahead and wrap this around this way. And then what I can do is if I do want second story access over here, I can get the extra staircase that goes up to an extra level. And then we'll wrap around somehow. Or I could even have it come out over here and then loop around. Maybe that would be better. That way we can still have circles on both of these levels. Oh, I have to remember that this is going to have to get pathed. It's a little odd to me that it doesn't automatically path the platforms. Automatically path the stairs. But that's probably because you can't draw a path on stairs for some logistical reasons. Okay, if I click on this... There you go. Water level 0. 0.6, highest 0. 0.79. Because I'm thinking maybe the dam's at 80% is how it works. Or thereabouts. Okay, well, I mean, that's something. Okay, that's just you. That's fine. Building lacks workers, we know. Although at least now we do have some children. See, it was at zero a second ago. Oh, we don't have to worry about Lake District because they have a little bit more than they need. So they don't have any children right now. A couple will die from old age. That'll make some space and that'll be okay. But yeah, I don't think we do. Oh, we have some potatoes already. That was quick. Set up a grill. Now, I think... I don't think the grill's very big. We could do this. All I have to do is extend the platform out one tile. And do that. Make good use of vertical space. Grill the potatoes. Get extra nutrition levels. Now, what does the second nutrition level give us? Oh, do I have to click on a beeper to find out? Plus 30% strength, which I assume just gives them a lot more carrying capacity, which is useful. I right, guess for a lot of different jobs, the carrying capacity is useful. Okay, these potatoes are cycling a little faster than expected because they're ready to be harvested as well. So maybe, depending on how the moving works, maybe it does actually make good sense to, like, split this. Because one's harvesting, one's coming behind to plant it. That might lead to better pathing overall. But then, yeah, and whenever these guys have nothing to plant, then they will simply harvest and make their own space. Because after the harvest, they probably have to go drop it off somewhere. Ooh, these stockpiles are filling up. Okay, this one's still got space, which is good. Right, you're still waiting for your gears. Although the gears are being made... So yeah, soon our scrap metal production is going to start. You still need some extra employment, or some extra employees, but there you go. You are making the baby. Wow, look at these. The age, 51. What's the lifespan on beavers? I don't know what the lifespan of beavers is in real life. I'm assuming a decade. I'm going to Google it right now. Beaver lifespan. Uh, might live up to 12 years in the wild. So Wikipedia says usually live up to 10 years. So I was kind of right with just eyeballing, like, maybe a decade. Wow. Go me. And the captivity is probably a different thing. But these these are different, more better beavers. I mean, clearly these are, you know, fully sapient beavers who have extended their construction skill. You know, logical thinking, planning. Oh, the dams are pretty cool. The funny thing about beaver dams, right? They're super, super effective, but the beaver never actually... You know, there could be a wide part of the river and a narrow part of the river, and the beavers might build the dam in the wide part of the river. They don't necessarily, you know, have the ability to visualize the entire region to figure out what the narrowest gap is that they could dam, you know, as cheaply as possible. But other than that, goddamn, those dams. They're very impressive. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. We're going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.